Hi guys. Welcome to Tom Ford Tuesday, where, you know, on Tuesday, it's all about Tom Ford beauty. I'm kind of excited because I'm going to be doing something a little different, a little fun. I hope you like it. We're going to be doing a little comparison today to a Tom Ford product. Of course, it's Tom Ford Tuesday. We're going to be comparing the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Duo to the new Oric cream and powder eye duo. I'm going to compare it to some others in the collection as well and demo it. Let's see what this thing's all about. Let's see if it's worth comparing. Come on, let's go ahead and get started. the face is Tom Ford of course I am actually using my traceless stick foundation I've been liking this I'm continuously using it so that's what I've got on my face and everything we talk about today will be listed and linked for you down below in the description box so I'm gonna start off with the packaging for the Oric I'm into these details I really am absolutely beautiful I couldn't find <laughs> any of my Tom Ford packaging. I mean, you know, I've had them for a while. I think I've gotten rid of them at this point. So this, like the Tom Ford, is a cream and powder eye duo. All right, so with both products side by side, let's kind of talk about the comparisons with packaging. For the Auric, you do get a glass container. For the Tom Ford, it is a plastic container. This retails for $65 and the Auric retails for $39. Rather quickly, I'd like to mention that the Tom Ford Cream Color for Eyes does come in a glass packaging. Now the Auric is made in the USA with a 12 month shelf life. The Auric is a lot smaller. And although the Tom Ford packaging is all plastic, it works. It feels nice in your hand and because it's a little bit bigger, it feels a little bit better. This is a little bit smaller, so I have to make sure I hold it properly because of fear of dropping it, plus it's glass. But I will say, the top portion being plastic on the Auric, it doesn't feel cheap in any way. And it's nice, the gold lettering, that touch, but up top it is, you know, more plasticky, a little bit thinner than the Tom Ford. And although this is a smaller than your average handheld mirror, this actually does the job and does it quite well because you can focus it's a good high quality mirror and I have to say the mirror on the Auric is a very nice quality as well so that's a that's a plus although it's a little bit smaller it's not it's not that much smaller now the closest match that I was able to find for the Auric is my naked bronze which happens to be my absolute favorite when it comes to these so when I saw that Auric had one I was like Ooh, I love that color. I love formulas like that. Let's try it out. And with them being so similar, I figured, why not? Let's compare them. So here we are. So when you first open your Auric, I really like this. I like that there is a little plastic seal. I always keep these because it helps the cream from drying out. It's like an extra little bit of a seal almost. And I keep them for my Tom Fords as well. So I guess it's just a little bit of a habit, a little extra little extra precaution to hold on to my creams for as long as possible. This is what the texture of the Auric looks like. It's a nice moussey texture. Now again, this Tom Ford has been well loved, so it's not fresh and pretty and new, but that is what that texture looks like. And here they are side by side. Now, when I swatch my Naked Bronze beside the Auric, I find the Naked Bronze to be a little bit deeper, 
a little bit more rich. I find the textures to be similar, but I did feel that the Auric was a little bit more stiff, a little bit more of a firmness to it over the Tom Ford, which was a lot lighter in the whipped kind of texture in a sense. When I go and touch the Tom Ford, it has a lot lighter of a whip to it versus when I go and I touch the Auric, it's a little bit more dense. That's the difference in the textures for me. The colors are very similar and I find the Tom Ford Naked Bronze to be just a little bit darker. But as you can probably tell on my eyes, can you tell who's who? Which eyes Tom Ford? Which eyes Auric? Good. I'll give you a moment. Comment down below which side you think is Auric and which side you think is Tom Ford. We are going to get into a little demo on how these apply and work. So hang tight. Now for the toppers. With the Tom Ford, it's definitely a topper over an eyeshadow. I feel like the Auric could probably potentially be an eyeshadow. With the Tom Ford topper portion, it's really best to be used with the finger because with a brush, it it doesn't pick up properly, but it does come off very silky, very smooth, very that soft glitter. For the Tom Ford, the glitter particles are just so small. They're creating that beautiful, soft, scattered glitter look that adds just enough, if that's what you want. But it's awesome because you can build it up, as you'll see in the demo in just a little bit. Now on the Auric, I don't know if you can see, but there's just a little bit more texture. I'm getting a little bit more chunk, a little bit more glitter particles. It's a little bit messy, but I... So I definitely suggest that you use your finger to apply this. It too is very silky and smooth, but I definitely feel a little bit of grit when I first kind of start um, rubbing my finger through. So here's a little swatch and you'll see it's a very different texture. See, so the Auric definitely gives more pigment. It's more so giving me a more traditional eyeshadow that's glittery kind of formula versus the Tom Ford that is a very soft topper type shade. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I went in with the same exact brush for both of my eyes. So you're going to see me use the exact same brushes, the exact same techniques to create my eye look. And I just cleaned that brush off. Now I'm going to go into the work. the topper shape. I use my finger.
So what do I think now that I've tried the Auric in comparison to the Tom Ford? Here's what I've got to say. They are both very creamy bases to work with. I like that moussey formula. It's very easy to work with. It's very quick. Both of the creams apply to the lids beautifully. And then for the toppers, the Tom Ford, it's a lot more ethereal and softer versus the Auric. It's going to give you a little bit more intensity. So just go in a little bit softer and you can achieve that softer, similar Tom Ford effect. And with that said, Auric is very, very, very well received and is very, very comparable to the Tom Ford cream eyeshadows. And that's coming from a person who loves Tom Ford so much. I'm very, very happy with this. I think it performed nicely. I had no issues with it. I like it enough to put her up next to one of my forever favorite babies. So hey, maybe if you had the Tom Ford and you were considering the Auric, they are so similar that you could pass on the Auric. Or if you have been wanting to try the Tom Ford, you can definitely go the Auric route and you will achieve a very similar effect. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out on our unofficial Tom Ford Tuesday. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.